And when I'm going out, I love a good hood ratchet vibes. I'm not finna pay to see nobody else ass in booty hole where I got my own, period. I was getting backlash <laughs> for the video and I don't understand why. That's making me look like I'm a 304. What I really wanna say is shut the f up. This man low key circling me in the freaking grocery store. Yeah, I blocked him. Are you kidding me? You really tried to play me? What is up, y'all? It's your girl Miracle, and I'm back with another video. Period. This is actually my first Sunday, like being off and not working. Um, it's game day. And someone had told me like about the game at the start, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna take this day to like recharge, clean up. I need some meal prep because I've been eating out like crazy, and just overall like get my life together. I had started a vlog off yesterday, but um, I didn't even finish recording. Me and my sister, we went out for lunch, and oh my gosh, it was it was so cute. We had a good time, and then after that, I ended up texting one of my other. Um, um, home girls just to see you know what she was up to and she was like girl period I just got off let's go so we went to uh, this like restaurant bar I don't know what it's called club in um, Dallas downtown called happiest hour and I always hear people talking about happiest hour happiest hour happiest hour happiest hour was not my kind of vibe like i'm i'm bougie i'm classy but i can also be a little ratchet and when i'm going out i love a good hood ratchet vibe like that's just what i like and then y'all i ended up going to this club afterwards y'all this club that i had never been to if y'all know then y'all know the s club the p valley club baby and I was underwhelmed. Um, I thought it was gonna be something completely different. And but maybe that was just like a, a like a slow night. I don't know. Like I think I guess different clubs give different vibes. But it wasn't bad. Like the girls was looking good. They was cute. But then I kind of felt like awkward looking at them because it's like, oh my gosh, like baby i see everything like i see all up inside of you and i was just like oh i would probably try it again maybe if i go to a lit one like a super duper lit one it'll probably be lit so i'll try it again but i don't think that that's something that i would just be like hey yeah let's go to the let's go to the p-valley club you know so yeah um but I did have this one friend, she used to literally like always go. And it was like $50 to get in. And I was never into that, like just to walk in somewhere to see some, to see some ass. Baby, I could bend over in front of the mirror and see my own ass. I twerk in the mirror all the time. I could see my own ass. I'm not finna pay to see nobody else ass in booty hole where I got my own, period. But yeah, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. I get to talking too much and I get to talking crazy. And that's when I know it's time to be quiet. I got like two quizzes and a, a discussion post due. I'm finna go grocery shopping. But first, I'm gonna stop and get me a drinkity drink from Starbucks. Y'all stay tuned for the vlog. I just wanted to come chat with y'all real quick because, baby. The last video I posted was a vlog, but I'm talking about the video before that with the crushes and shit. Like, I was getting backlash <laughs> for the video, and I don't understand why. Like, these dudes really be having the audacity. And if we're not together and you ain't made it clear that you want to be with me, then I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And, yeah, like, then people were saying I'm giving out the wrong perception of myself hold on hold on um can i get a tall iced white chocolate mocha with cold foam and caramel drizzle i'm so sorry we're out of our cold foam right now no are you serious yes i'm so sorry do you think i'm new to starbucks so would that make a difference to the drink if it doesn't have cold foam but we could still do the whipped cream it comes with, so you do still get something on top. Okay, well, yeah, just no cold foam, just the whipped cream. You 
well. Yes, and then can I add a cheese Danish? Sure. And that'll be all. Are you kidding me, Starbucks? Oh, this is not gonna be a heavy because I just spent nine dollars on this and I'm not gonna keep spending. Y'all seen the video where I did uh going through the drive through? Yeah, I done lost my mind. Yeah, my friend done got me hooked on these little drinks, <sighs> but yeah, so anyways, like people just had something to say, like that's making me look like I'm a 304 is giving out the wrong impression and I need to stop living a hot girl life because I'm not a hot girl and I just feel like people have two versions of themselves like you're not gonna be this when you in a relationship you in a relationship and when you're single you're single and you do single in relationship stuff you know wherever it fits that situation but it's just like what I really want to say is shut the f up to everybody to everybody that has something to say about my video like shut up like just because I like somebody or I have a crush on somebody that don't mean that I'm trying to do the do with them because to be honest I don't want no man touching me like all of y'all are just like no do not touch me at all but yeah, that just pissed me off. Like, I'm not making myself look no kind of way. <laughs> and I and to be honest, I feel like if you was really that nigga, me talking to other dudes or like me even saying that I think another man is fine. Like, if you was really that nigga, like, you would just come in and debt all of it. Like, I don't know. I don't like no man that's intimidated by other men. I don't like that. You should be confident in yourself. So if you intimidated by another man, or if you feel like my video turned you off and made you feel some kind of way, you not like no. You that mean you not doing what you're supposed to do. Cause if you was doing what you're supposed to do, that wouldn't be a video. Period. And I'm done off that topic. Cause yeah. So let's taste my drink. <laughs> This is so good. The cold foam definitely makes a difference. But let me show you how this Danish. Like, y'all. This stuff right here be so freaking good. Like, ooh, when it's real hot. I need to learn how to make these. I just got here, y'all, and it's like already packed, and I'm just like, ugh. Like, I just hate going into stores or places where it be freaking packed. Like, I just be needing space. I feel like I can't shop that good. People be getting on my nerves. The line be long. I just be overall irritated. So, yeah. But we finna go. I'm here now. I made it. I need to give myself. Or else I'm gonna be eating out and I ain't finna do that. So yeah. Hello. So yeah, I'm up here. And I don't know if it's the outfit, but the man is in here cutting up. I got apple juice for my smoothies. I got these little fruit cups just for like a snack when I have class and stuff. I got tea because for some reason I've been really back into tea. But I don't know. I might put this back actually. I'm still trying to debate. And I got this tilapia. And I got these chicken tenders because what I'm going to try to do is meal prep these with like different meals so like I could make like chicken wraps with these or like I could cut it up with some lettuce make a salad or just make like a whole bunch of different stuff so we trying to save money so I could probably get like three weeks worth of food out of this one little bag this man is like low-key circling me in the freaking grocery store and yeah I just have to put my camera out because he only approaches me when I don't have my camera out. So yeah, 
So yeah, he's literally like just fucking waiting in the area. I want to show y'all, but I don't have a seat to show y'all. He walking back over here. Let me just show y'all my little grocery list. Guess what I got? And yeah. Okay. He walked past. We good. It's really sad that us women have to do this kind of stuff because men are creeps. Like, you walk all the way on the aisle that I'm at, but you leave your basket on the other side. Like, that's freaking weird. But I digress. Anyways, I really like these, but I only like strawberries and cream. Y'all, while well, I'm back at home, I really think that I need to work on my attitude sometimes. Like, I wouldn't say that it's bad. Like, I don't just be out here going off on people, but I do get really annoyed quick. I get, I be getting annoyed quick, period. So, like, first of all, the line was, like, super long. I got annoyed. Then, I go to use the freaking card. The card is expired. It, it, it needs to be renewed. I wasn't finna get it renewed today. It's my grandma card. So, yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, and then I was gonna go to Walmart. And then somebody just kept blowing up my phone. Literally, blowing my phone, blowing my phone, blowing. Like, like, if I don't answer, then I just don't answer. Like, I hate when people blow me up. I hate when people blow me up. Like, I hate it. Like, I hate it. Like, I literally freaking hate it. Like, bro, sometimes I just be wanting to be to myself and be left alone. No, I don't want to talk. Like, so, I just left Walmart and I just came home because I just said, like, bro, I'm just annoyed. Let me just go home. So, yeah, I'm here. Um, I didn't get any food. I've been gone for like, I was gone for like, hell, when did I leave? Yeah, two hours. <laughs> it's 5.54. So yeah, I'm annoyed. I'm going to just try to like order something online and try to pick it up because I can't. Like, I literally cannot. Yeah, I literally Then my face, like, I don't know. I'm cooking now. And let me show y'all. I'm making spaghetti, my favorite food ever. This is how it's coming along. I like extra bell peppers, extra onions. I normally like chickpea pasta, but they chickpea pasta was like $4 a box. First of all, yeah four dollars for like a eight ounce box and i need way more noodles than that so i just got these little two four dollar ones i feel like for my ladies i'm just like at a different point right now like a lot of the a lot of things they used to i just want peace you know oh there's my noodles going I just want peace and if you can't bring me peace then you have to go and that's just that so of course i had to let some people go unfortunately i don't want to let them go they were my favorites well they were my favorite if i'm being honest but what you're not gonna do is play with me <laughs> and that's on period they're talking about some they're trying to bribe me with tacos, knowing that I love tacos. <laughs> like, you know I love tacos. But I'm going to stay strong. Because you can't bribe me with no tacos now. Like, be for real. But, yeah, y'all, I'm making my spaghetti. Probably not going to show me cooking because I'm trying to hear if and get done. I still got homework to do, and it's 8 o'clock. So... I'm going to just show y'all my spaghetti when I'm finished. But don't play my spaghetti because it really be good. But this is how 
we about to taste it on camera. I already know it's gonna be good, so I'm not really worried about it. Cause I don't really be eating bread like that. But yeah. And I normally be putting like ranch on my spaghetti, but again, yeah, I'm trying to do better, make tiny adjustments. Remember I told y'all I was texting a person? And you can just tell when people be sincere, like, and I ain't gonna say too much about the situation, but you know us girls, we be having our favorite ninjas. But if that ninja don't act right, he gotta go. Don't let nobody treat you like you're not the finest thing walking on this earth. I'm sorry. Yeah. And make sure people keep their word. Like, a lot of these people just be out here talking, running their mouth. I don't feel sad because I just always have it in my head. Like, if somebody really wants you, they gonna show you, period. I've dated guys before where the intention was there. Like, you text me talking about intentions. No, the intentions was really there. You, come on now, no. You're lying. I, don't, I hope it doesn't come off as if I'm sad. I think I'm just really mellowed out because of the wine that I was drinking. And at the fact I'm thinking about this homework that I still gotta do and it's already nine o'clock. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna go in because I'm trying to eat cute on the camera. But baby, I'm known to tear my food up, so I'm gonna hit y'all later. <laughs> Please ignore that big mound of clothes. I just did laundry, so yeah, we're just gonna do a little girl talk. So, y'all remember the person that I've been talking about the top video basically. And just me going through the motions or whatever. They've been blowing up my phone. Like, baby, you never blew up my phone this much. Like, cut it out. Like, <laughs> cut it out. Like, why aren't you calling me and texting me so much? Now that I told you I don't want to it. Be for real. And so, I answered. Obviously, I feel like every man, when you try to lead him, they always do that little thing trying to get you back and saying, I hurt your feelings. Bitch, how I hurt your feelings? Y'all, I blocked him. I blocked him and I'm not sad at all, honestly. I never be sad when I lose a nigga because <laughs> it's just so many more out there. And like, honestly, I be disgusted that somebody could even treat me less than a queen. You really tried to treat me like I ain't nothing. You really tried to play me. Are you kidding me? You really tried to play me? Yeah, no, mm-mm. So that alone just turns me off of somebody like, baby, don't try to play me like I'm fiending for you. I meet somebody else. I feel like God came and spoke to me and he was just like, get rid of everybody, continue to grind, continue to go hard and all the things that you do. And I bring you your person, but I can't bring you, you know, I can't bring you your person and continue to bless you and do all these other things if you still fooling around with stuff that is no good for you so ladies let this be a lesson if it is not serving you cut it off i don't care what it is i don't care if it's a man if it is a job if it is a friendship baby get rid of it get rid of it if it's not serving you get rid of it because ain't no sense in holding on dead weight and one thing about me, my cutoff game is like elite because I just be feeling like I can't let nobody play with me like that, you know? Like once I'm done for real, I am completely done. You better ask somebody. He tried to manipulate the situation, talking about some, uh, you, he's sick and he not feeling good and that's bothering him. And I don't care, like that ain't got nothing to do with me, like. No, I don't care what's not fair to you because you weren't thinking about what was fair to me when you was doing what you was doing. So, new beginnings. It is what it is. I don't care. It be hard to like not have your guard up because you don't want to get hurt again. Well, I wouldn't consider myself hurt, but I would consider 
myself annoyed like i don't want to get annoyed again so i'd rather just not deal with anybody but in the, in the same sense like i don't want to block off my blessing so that's why the first sign you see you just got to get up out of there i always say you communicate something one time if they don't fix it that one time oh it's time to go because clearly they don't care they don't value what you said they don't care like they said they did so yeah period thank y'all for watching my video i love y'all and i i'm really thankful for everybody that supports me like my channel is not big but i just feel like i got my own little community see where i'm at right now i be using this app called tube buddy to like say how much i got and stuff so i am at 275 subscribers i'm almost at 20,000 views and i'm 25 followers away from 300 followers should i do a giveaway at 300 to see like who really be watching my video i'm gonna talk to y'all later love y'all thank you for watching mm.